Welcome learners. In our lesson today, we look at the topic of energy changes in physical and chemical processes. Subtopic is enthalpy through experiments, where we are dealing particularly with molar heat of displacement. The objectives of the lesson include definition of molar of displacement, how to calculate molar of displacement, how to write the thermochemical equation, how to draw the energy level diagram then sources of errors so definition of molar of displacement is the enthalpy change that occurs when one mole of a substance is displaced from a solution of its sounds example of displacement reaction is addition of excess zinc powder into copper sulfate solution the question for the reaction will be zinc plus copper to sulfate arrow zinc sulfate plus copper now i only question for the reaction will be zinc solid plus copper two ions aqueous arrow zinc two ions aqueous plus copper solid now observation made during the reaction are the blue color of solution fades and finally changes to colors. Brown solid of copper is deposited. Reason. Reason. Zinc displaces copper ions from a solution of its ions because zinc is more reactive than copper. Now, a objective number two how to calculate more light of displacements. Bob, the steps to be followed are 1. Calculating the heat change. Heat change is given by mass of solution times specific capacity times temperature change. In short, it is written as delta H is equal to mc change in T. The mass of solution will be obtained by density of water times volume of solution e.g. copper sulfate solution. C is specific capacity given by either 4.2 kilojoule per kilogram per Kelvin or 4.2 joules per gram per Kelvin. Change in T is temperature change obtained by measuring the initial temperature of the solution and then measuring the ice temperature attained during the specimen reaction make it T2. So change in T will be T2 minus T1. Step 2 will be determining the number of moles. So number of moles can be obtained by two ways. One, if given the mass in grams of the metal, then say number of moles is mass in grams of a molar mass. Two, given molarity and volume of solution, the number of moles will be molarity times volume of a thousand. Now in a situation whereby you are given both the mass of the metal and the volume and molarity of the solution. Then you will be required to find moles of the metal and moles of the solution. If the mole ratio is 1 to 1, then you use the small number of moles. Because the bigger number of moles will be in excess. Then step 3, determine the molar heat of displacement by saying the moles in step 2 is equal to enthalpy change step 1 what about 1 mole cross multiply you get the answer of kilojoule per mole example 4 grams of zinc powder is added to and some descript of 0 0.5 molar copper to sulfur solution temperature rose by 24.5 degrees Celsius. A. Calculate the molar heat of displacement of copper ions. Bracket. Density 1.0 grams per centimeter cubed. Specific capacity 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. The RM of zinc is equal to 65. Solution. Delta H is MC change in T. Mass of solution 
is equal to density times volume of copper sulfate, which is 1 gram per cm3 times 100 cm3. So, because you're given C in kilojoule per kilogram per Kelvin, you convert the mass obtained of 100 grams to kilogram by divided by 1000, so you get 0 0.1 kilogram. So, delta H will be given by 0 0.1 kilogram times 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram per kelvin times 24.5 kelvin will give us 10.29 kilojoules number of moles our step two is find the number of moles because you're given both the mass of zinc and volume and molarity of copper sulfate that means you have to find both the moles of zinc and the moles of copper sulfate so number of moles of zinc is mass in grams of molar mass, which is 4 over 65, gives you 0 0.062 moles. The number of moles of copper sulfate is molarity times volume over 1000, which is 0 0.5 times 1000 over, which is 0 0.5 times 100 over 1000, and gives us 0 0.05 moles. Now, from the equation of zinc plus copper to sulfate give you zinc sulfate plus copper the ratio is 1 to 1 so the number of moles to be used is 0 0.05 moles because zinc is in excess of 0 0.012 so the last step will be 0 0.05 moles is equals to 10.29 kilojoules or about one mole because multiply you get 10.29 kilojoules times one mole divided by 0 0.05 moles gives you negative 205.8 kilojoule per mole so the negative value is because temperature rose due to the reaction b write the chemical equation now, when you write the chemical equation, you simply write the normal chemical equation balanced, then you include the enthalpy change. So the equation, the thermal chemical equation becomes zinc solid plus copper to sulfate RO, zinc sulfate aqueous plus copper solid, then delta H, negative 205.8 kilojoule per mole. C draw the energy level diagram as shown below note that the excess zinc is used to ensure all the copper ions are displaced note number two the experimental value is not equal to the theoretical value i.e. bracket so the whereas it absorbed by the apparatus is not accounted for. It lost the surrounding is not accounted for. Note number three, if magnesium is used instead of zinc, the molar displacement will be higher because magnesium is more reactive than zinc. Learners, that is the end of the lesson. The next lesson look at more light of combustion.